Pertinax was the first of the year of the five emperors. He would be the city prefect of Rome at Commodus's death, and was made emperor by the Praetorian prefect, Latus, with consent of the Senate. Born the son of a freed slave, Pertinax became an officer in the army. He fought in the Roman Parthian War of 161-166, where his success led him to be promoted to higher positions in both the military and political spheres. He achieved the rank of provincial governor and urban prefect. He was a member of the Roman Senate, serving at the same time as the historian Cassius Dio. Following the death of Commodus, Pertinax was proclaimed emperor. He attempted to institute several reform measures, although the short duration of his reign as emperor prevented the success of those attempts. One of those reforms, the restoration of discipline among the Praetorian Guard, led to conflict that eventually culminated in Pertinax's assassination by the Guard. Pertinax would be deified by the Emperor Septimius Severus. His historical reputation has largely been a positive one, in line with Cassius Dio's assessment. Didius Julianus was the second of the year of the five emperors. He would win the auction held by the Praetorian Guard for the position of emperor. Julianus had a promising political career, governing several provinces, including Dalmatia and Germania Inferior, and defeated the Chauci and Chatti, two invading Germanic tribes. He was even appointed to the consulship in 175, along with Pertinax as a reward, before being demoted by Commodus. After this demotion, his early promising political career languished. Julianus ascended the throne after buying it from the Praetorian Guard, who had assassinated his predecessor Pertinax. A civil war ensued in which three rival generals laid claim to the imperial throne. Septimius Severus, commander of the legions in Pannonia and the nearest of the generals to Rome, marched on the capital, gathering support along the way and routing cohorts of the Praetorian Guard Julianus sent to meet him. Abandoned by the Senate and the Praetorian Guard, Julianus was killed by a soldier in the palace and succeeded by Severus, 